G'day guys, how are you going? Sorry it's been such a long time since I made my last video. Um, I've recently just uh, moved from Turkey back to my home country in Australia. So anyways, without any further ado, what I'm going to show you guys today is how you can make a random uh, random sort of colours flick on the screen. And yeah, so let's get into it. So I'm going to go to New Projects. <coughs> And I'm going to go to Visual Basic. This is in Visual Basic. We're going to do this. And I'm just going to go to Classic Desktop, just a standard Windows form. I'm just going to call it Color Changer, just like that. And we'll let it load. There we go. <coughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the toolbox here, and I'm going to select Picture Box. So here's my picture box. I'm just gonna make it. I'll make one so it turns on, and I'll make another one so I can press a button so it will, will turn on. So one that will sort of load when the program loads, another one where I click the button, then it will activate, and if I click the button again, it will stop. So <coughs> in saying that, I'm going to need a button, and I'm going to need a timer. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the button. I'm going to do this one first so that when I press the button, the program will then, yeah, change colors. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to declare some variables. One will be red, blue, uh, green, and yellow as a string. So now that I've done that, I've declared my variables. They're my variables right there, there's four of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, let me think, red equals, because I want it to be an integer, it's an integer, and the integer will be a random one. And because I'm going to use the sort of number of numbers of, like to get the color by number, that RGB one, I'm then going to go times it by 20, uh, 255. And then I'm going to go blue uh, equals an integer. And it's going to be a random integer. And then once again, times 255. And for so on. So green equals integer. It's going to be a random times that by 255 and yellow equals integer and um, that's going to be a random integer and I want it to go 255 cool so now that we've done that we've told it that hey this is what it's going to do it was a string but now I'm changing it into an integer <coughs> so now what I want to do is I'm going to write um, picture box one dot back color equals um, color dot and then we're going to write get from oh where is it it's like rbg or maybe I have to pick here I'm sure it's like this rgb or rbg ha here we go no it's not right Ah, there we go. Color dot from um I'll just say RGB because that's kinda of like what it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my red, blue, um, green, and yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. And that'll do. So when I now start the program up and I click the button, it should flick it to a random color. Just like that. But let's say I wanted to do it automatically. Well, that's when that timer comes in handy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to write timer1.enabled equals true. Yeah, capitals. I don't 
this this is in case I save. And timer one dot circle dot and capital right now and it will take them back down automatically start. So then what's gonna happen there is when I go back to here and double click on my timer, um, I can now copy in what we had before. So you just run the command. And that's not a very good comment, but that's just for you guys. Um, that's just for you guys. Um, <coughs> yeah. So now when I start my program and click on the button, there you have it. It's now changing all by itself. And... Um, yeah, you could obviously do a if statement, um, and you could change the names around. So start, and then make it so it changes um, to stop the text, and then you say like if the text is stopped, then you can tell the timer to shut down. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and please comment and subscribe for more videos like this. I hope I've helped you, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.